Time now to go behind enemy lines presented by Windows 11. Pleased to be joined by the voice of the Los Angeles Rams, J.B. Long. J.B., thanks so much for the time. It's nice to see you. I'm sorry, I Pat, I don't cross more often, but uh, looking forward to hosting you in Inglewood this weekend. We're looking forward to being there. We're not looking forward to seeing Von Miller from the outside, on paper at least. It doesn't seem like they necessarily need Von Miller. Mm. Where does he fit a need or maybe even add to a strength? I think it's a sound point. And as recently as these past couple of weekends, the edge rush has been as dynamic and productive as we've seen throughout the season, despite losing Justin Hollins, who was the starter opposite Floyd at the outset of the year. Terrell Lewis, a nice talent out of Alabama, seems to have found the right mix of practice and, and pain management for his knee. He's been a nice bracket opposite Leonard Floyd, who we already mentioned. Obo Okoronkwo was coming on, even Jameer Jones a waiver claim from the Pittsburgh Steelers has been productive. But I don't think there's anything that mirrors the all-pro talent that a future Hall of Famer is capable of. And when you blend him in with the talent and the depth chart that the Rams already have, I think it has the potential to free up more favorable matchup than Aaron Donald has ever had really in his entire career. You've said Aaron Donald's name. What has this year been like for this spectacular defensive lineman? Statistically, perhaps not his most productive year, at least not yet. He's been a historically slow starter in terms of racking up the sack count. But if you watch the tape and you see the opportunities that he generates for himself, despite not frequently getting rewarded with holding penalties on opposing offensive linemen, we call it the Aaron Donald effect. You know that Jalen Ramsey is from Middle Tennessee. I've actually watched him play football since he was in middle <laughs> school. He dominated them, and he dominates on the highest level. Uh, from your earlier indication, seems like it's all continuing for a guy who's now wearing number five. Jalen Ramsey is a safety or outside linebacker, what they call the star position. He is a force in the running game. He blows up screen plays. He takes on pulling linemen in a way that I just think maximizes the physical gifts that he's been blessed with. And, you know, he was all pro last year, but I think his intentions are even deeper and more committed here in 2021. Least surprising success after a move in the offseason was Matthew Stafford to the Rams. It, on paper, looked like it was going to fit perfectly. It seems to have done so. What has Stafford added to the Rams' offense that they did not have? I think he's unlocked the full capacity of Sean McVay's structure and playbook. And unfortunately, at the end of the Jared Goff era, you know there were portions of that play sheet where the Rams either were unwilling or uncomfortable or unable to go. And when you see Van Jefferson taking the top off of defense, when you see Cooper Cup running routes at all three levels and leading the NFL in receiving, when you see Matthew Stafford be able to play from empty, to hang on in the pocket, to create off schedule once the play breaks down. These were all the types of things that the Rams offense was lacking the last couple of seasons, really since their run to the Super Bowl. They had to be letter perfect and the ecosystem around the quarterback had to be almost fully intact for them to get the results they were looking for. That's no longer the case. Matthew Stafford for 12 years in Detroit um, played with some nice pieces, don't get me wrong, but he made the most out of his circumstances. And now that those circumstances are as good as he's ever had as a professional, he is helping the Rams. And I also think the Rams are helping him to his best results.